I am Vivian Maya. I was born in New York in 1926. During my childhood, I moved a lot around the U.S. and France. When I was four, I moved back to the Bronx with my mother and Janine Bertrand, who was a successful photographer that knew the founder of the Whitney Museum of American Art. Classy. I've always liked being engaged in social activities, especially when it was about protecting female rights and women power. Love. At the age of 25, I moved back to New York and I worked in a sweatshop. I then moved to the North Shore, Chicago, four years later where I worked as a nanny and carer for 40 years. I love images, I love still images, I love moving images. I like to form my own critical point of view on films and I always love storylines and storytelling, which is how I learned English by going to the theater. Since I love stories, I want to create some stories myself through photographs that I've never shown to anyone. In the beginning of my career as a nanny, I've been working for two families and I was always determined to show the kids the world outside their suburbs. Women in line. I loved kids, I always have, but I was always looking forward to my days off to walk around and take photos of the streets of Chicago with my Roliflex camera. I used to hold over 200 boxes full of materials, most were photographs or negatives, but I also liked collecting newspapers and audio tapes that I sometimes used to record when I'd have conversations with people that I photographed. I was always a discreet and closed person, and because of that, I sometimes used to introduce myself to others in different ways. Sometimes I'd use different accents, I'd give them different life details, and even use different names. It is the year 2007, I'm in my old age, and I failed to pay my storage space rent in Chicago's north side. My whole lifetime photographic archive from around the world, but mainly the Chicago and New York area, is in those boxes that three photo collectors have just bought. John Malofe has bought over 30,000 negatives because he's working on a book about Chicago neighborhood of Portridge Park. I hope they will take good care of my photographs. <laughs>